Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. So go ahead and go check it out. Also, the thing with personal readings is there's going to be a code down below in the comments where you can get 25% off personal readings and that lasts until the 28th of this month. So you, you copy that code, you go to the website, you go pick out a reading and at the checkout you'll type in the code and I'll give you 25% off. But let's see what we have going on for Aquarius. You guys are connecting with more of your empathic side and there's three things that you guys are waiting for that are coming in for you. So let's see. Okay, so there's also something here you said to not take action towards. So we're going to have a lot to clarify in a minute after I pull my cards. I want to pull. There's the Akashic Records. Yeah, but there's doors. There's opportunities opening up for you, Aquarius. And you've been wanting these doors. You've been wanting these opportunities to open up to you. You've, you've been, you know, it, it ranges from either three to eight on the doors and opportunities coming your way, Aquarius. It's somewhere between that number. Either there's three things that you've been waiting for that are coming in for you. Or maybe there's eight, Aquarius. Something along those lines. Alright, and either either you're watching somebody or there's somebody here watching you. So if you know you're not watching anybody, there's somebody here watching you. There may be somebody here watching you at a crossroads what to do about you. Whether to take action or not take action. But you guys are deciding to ascend. You're deciding to continue to move forward. you got opportunities coming in. You're going to take those opportunities. And you're continuing to move forward towards new opportunities as well. And we have you connected with the Palladian Star System with the Chariot being here. But let's see what you decided not to take action towards. Clarify, what did Aquarius decide not to take action towards? Six of Swords, the King of Wands. There's something here that created, would have created a lot of change for you, and it would have allowed you to move forward. It's strange, Aquarius, because it feels like it would have allowed you to move forward in the direction you wanted to move forward in, but you decided not to take action towards that. I wonder why that is. Hmm. You change your mind? Feels like you just changed your mind. Alright, let's see. Um, what doors and opportunities are being presented to you? What you're waiting for? What is it? What is it coming in, Aquarius? An opportunity coming your way. Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, it could be something material. There's some sort of material thing. So it could be something to do with money, a money opportunity, an offer coming in. Eight of Pentacles could be something here with your work. Here. Ace of Swords. Could be finally getting an answer that to a question that you've been having. Ace of Pentacles could be another new money opportunity coming in, Aquarius. The sun could be your happiness coming in. Eight of Wands. Yeah, but it's eight different things coming in that you've been waiting for. Ace of Cups, a new opportunity. <laughs> a new opportunity. Maybe this one is more emotional, though. So, this could be something that you've always wanted to do, Aquarius. Or you could be trying something new here. Um... Also with the Ace of Cups, if you're a single Aquarius, could be new love coming in, but overall, it's something coming in that's just your heart's desires, right? Ten of Pentacles, it may be a large sum of money coming your way, you guys. So let's go over here and let's see more for you. Let's tell me more what we have going on for Aquarius. All right, what do we have there? Okay, you decided to look towards your future instead of your past here, Aquarius. Because it's like you didn't want to be stuck in the past here. Maybe the past was toxic as well. And there, there's just a lot of things going on in the past that I feel like you just decided to release and you move towards the new. 
a new beginning of your life here. And this new beginning is, is extremely satisfying for you. It's extremely fulfilling for you, Aquarius. And like I said, if you're a single Aquarius, you may have new love coming in. Again, maybe you see this. Maybe you know this. Maybe you're aware of this here. And once again, you're walking away from the past, Aquarius. And there may be people coming in wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate with you as well here. There may be celebration. There's big opportunities coming in your future, and you need to get ready for it, Aquarius. What you want, what you've been desiring, is coming in. And you need you need to get prepared for it. All right? You need to get ready because it's what you've been desiring. It's finally happening. It's finally coming. It's like that finally moment, Aquarius. Finally, what you want comes in. Finally, what you want to happen happens. Okay? Now let's go over here and let's see more. So tell me more what we have going on for our lovely Aquariuses. Love. Love's coming your way. And like I said, if you're a single Aquarius, you may have new love coming in. Alright? You may also have somebody here that's stuck on you. They're stuck on you, but then they're ignoring you. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, what you want, what's interesting to you is coming in here. So if there's a person that's interesting to you, they're coming in. Maybe they're coming in all in their feelings and all their emotions about you. And once again, you guys are cutting off the past. You're cutting off the past with somebody here that came in with intentions to break your heart. You're releasing them. All right? You're releasing that. And you got different offers coming in. Aquarius, the moon. We have you guys connect with your moon sign. Some of you guys could have a Scorpio moon, or you can have somebody here coming your way that has a Scorpio moon. Uh, there could be somebody here that's missing their pet or their animal they used to have. You guys could also be rescuing an animal here, too. But the star. The star is yourself. Some of you guys could also have Aquarius moon. But overall, your heart's desires is just up ahead for you, Aquarius. It's being offered to you as well. The earth. We have a connection with the earth here. And you're about to have surprises. You're about to have surprise blessings coming your way. What you want is coming in, and it's coming in as a surprise, Aquarius. Now the Prince of Pentacles. So, you're moving forward with your intuition. You're doing some healing here. Maybe you're healing somebody, or maybe you're healing yourself here. But you guys are popping up as spiritual warriors, Aquarius. The Seven of Swords, all right, but you see the truth. There was something that was hidden, but you see the truth of it. Maybe there's something hidden about a person, and you see their true side now, Aquarius. You see how they really are here. Um, or maybe some of you guys are seeing how powerful you really are, and you're stepping into your power, Aquarius, and you're changing, and you're shifting. You're shifting your whole life direction here now, and now you're creating the life you want to live. It's what it feels like for you. Once again, everything you've been wishing for comes in, and you're shifting, you're changing, you're changing your whole life. You've been wishing for some, some I almost said something I didn't want to say. <laughs> you've been wishing for some shifts, okay? <laughs> That's going to be happening for you. <laughs> you've been wishing for some changes. Those changes are going to be happening for you, Aquarius. We have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. And it feels like you're making you're making your life how you want it to be. You're you're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want, and you guys have justice coming your way. You guys have balance here, and you're celebrating this. You're celebrating this justice. You're celebrating this balance, and you guys are releasing restrictions. You're releasing binds here. The Queen of Wands. Okay. Now, some of you guys may have fire within your birth chart with the Queen of Wands being here. The fire is Aries, Theo, or Sagittarius. Or maybe some of you guys have a fire sign coming in, coming back into your life here, wanting to talk to you, maybe wanting to apologize to you about some things or whatever. Maybe trying to gift you something as well. We have the universe coming in and gifting you with money, gifts here, abundance, Aquarius, King of Wands, again, more fire. All right. It feels like you guys have given a lot to people around you. And what you've been envisioning for your future is coming in for you. Temperance. We have Sagittarius. Yeah, maybe there's a Sagittarius here. You're manifesting. Whatever you've been asking the universe for is coming in. Once again, this is it's always it's like you've been envisioning it. It's coming in. Aquarius. It's something that just touched my nose. <laughs> there's something here that involves a big contract. 
um, that you're manifesting that's coming your way. So talk about big contracts here. It could be for your career. It could be material assets, like buying the home, selling the home, do whatever with the home or, or something like that. Um, it could be the marriage contract in the future as well. So, yeah, some of you guys could be getting married here. So that could be happening for you if that's what you've been desiring or trying to manifest here. But let's see what we have going on for you. King of Swords. King of Swords is yourself, whether male or female, it does not really matter. But you look, you guys got a new money opportunity coming in. Aquarius, some of you guys may be forming a new business or maybe expanding your business with the Emperor, your plans, you're making plans here. These plans are coming to fruition here. Aquarius, you're happy because everything's working out the way you planned it to be. Okay. You overcame whatever obstacles were in your way, and now, now it's all just moving smoothly, right? We're talking about business, so let me find my cards that are somewhere over here. All right, I found them. So let's pull these advice cards for Aquarius, and let's see more. Connect social media, right? Maybe, you know, yeah, if you got a business, be on social media about it, right? It says use social media efficiently to connect with your audience. Be specific about what outcome you desire from your efforts and focus your attention there. All right, Aquarius, give back. Yeah, some of you guys may be, like, getting getting involved with some sort of charity work here or somehow getting involved with your community as well. Donate to your community or causes that are close to your heart. It creates an energy of abundance around you and your business. All right. Slow down. All right, so this talks about just replenishing yourself here. Master, this is mastering your emotions, not letting your emotions, you know, control you. Get the best of you, whatever. And the Knight of Wands. You guys are focusing more on self-love, self-care as well. There's a ton of, I don't like the Ten of Swords, Aquarius. Maybe you're learning to love yourself after so many people have kind of treated you like you were unlovable, which is really kind of sad, all right? You're about to get blessed in front of all those people, Aquarius, and you're about to get blessed with a bunch of money, all right? You're being led and guided here towards a bunch of money, Aquarius, so it doesn't matter what these people were saying. They're irrelevant, Aquarius. They are irrelevant because you're about to get super blessed, and I feel like that's going to make them mad, but you know what? It's going to be funny, <laughs> you know? Because you're getting everything your heart desires, and what are they doing? They're just sitting here still in their misery. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yourself. Female or female does not matter. King of Swords. Once again, this is yourself. Female or female does not matter. Yeah, you may have walked away from these people that were acting this way towards you. You know, once again, treating you like you were undesirable here. Now you're moving towards a new beginning. Now you're moving towards everything that you've been wanting, desiring here. Maybe, like I said, if 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 you guys are single, maybe you're moving towards new love here. But either way, you're moving towards what your heart desires is the main point here. Aquarius, we have the universe working with you, wanting to bring you more of your heart's desires and, and removing all blockages towards your heart's desires here. Aquarius, you guys are about to be attracting in a lot of money. You guys are about to be living here like the Empress, super abundance, okay? And we have you guys reconnecting back with your spirituality as well. But overall, you guys are calling in what you really want for your life, what you desire. Once again, you're calling in your desires, Aquarius. This is what's happening for you. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your birth chart, chart. Yeah. Uh, but it feels like you're also studying something. You're getting, you're getting your education here. You're getting more knowledgeable, whatever here. You're ascending. Once again, you're moving forward, Aquarius. And it may be something here that's going to help you grow your business. So let's go over here and let's see more for you. Ah, there's the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, but you're moving on from heartbreak. You're moving on from pain, trauma, all of that. And you're moving forward, Aquarius. You're ascending. You're moving towards your happiness here. 
You're moving towards what makes you truly happy in your life here, Aquarius. And you're releasing all the pain, all the heartbreak, all the trauma. And we have spirit that's coming forward trying to send you a message here. All right. Uh, trying to send you a message not to worry. You're going to be fine, Aquarius. You're about to be getting everything you've been wishing for. That's the message for you once again. This has been the message the entire time. You got a new beginning in your life. You got this new beginning you've been desiring. It's coming in. Go for this new beginning, Aquarius. All right. So... That is what I have for you. And if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find even more content on my website too. Alright, so bye guys.